If you are a fan of the band Breaking Benjamin, or you like bands like Breaking Benjamin, Star Set, Red, Seether, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button, maybe give this video a like. You're going to want to stay tuned to this channel because you're going to get all of your news updates on some of the biggest projects from these bands. And today we're going to be talking about a huge update from Breaking Benjamin, my personal favorite band of all time. I cannot wait to talk about this. We finally have a pretty substantial update that really points in the direction of them working on a new album. It's been about five years since the release of Ember, which is absolutely insane. We've all been starving for a new Breaking Benjamin album for so long. And for the first time, it looks like we have some evidence that they are in fact recording music at the very least. And hopefully this points in the direction of a brand new album, potentially dropping probably later this year or early next year. Now, the wait is still going to go on. We have to wait longer. Sadly, I want the new album so badly, but this at least points in the direction of getting new music, which is incredibly exciting because we just have not heard a lot from Breaking Benjamin recently. So over on Instagram, there's this guy named Carlos Chavez. He's a music producer, a musician, and he made this post stating that he spent his day in the studio with a couple of the guys from Breaking Benjamin helping record guitars for Breaking Benjamin specifically. So this is really exciting stuff. This shows that they're in the studio. I know uh, Keith Wallen also has had some Snapchat stories showing him in a studio working on stuff. I didn't know if it was like solo related stuff because he makes his own music as well or if it was Breaking Benjamin related, but that combined with this kind of points in the direction of Breaking Benjamin music being made and produced as we speak. Uh, this is really exciting stuff. Now, if they're recording guitars, they're probably fairly early in the recording process, but this is still really exciting because they're at least working on new music. And just in case you're wondering if this is like a legit post, a couple of the guys from Breaking Benjamin, uh, Keith Wallen and Jason Rauch are following this guy on Instagram. So obviously they have a relationship with this guy and it really looks like we are getting new Breaking Benjamin music soon if they're recording music. This is just so beyond exciting. I cannot wait. This guy's an audio engineer. He's in the studio with them. They're working on music. Now, I guess that leaves the final question. Is this like an album that they're working on or is this just like a random song? Breaking Benjamin's not really the kind of band to drop random songs, so that kind of leads me to believe that they are working on a new album. Now, sometimes Breaking Benjamin will do kind of like random collaborations with artists, like Star Set recently, um, Waiting on the Sky to Change, which was awesome, by the way. I absolutely loved it. And then they did the, the one cover of Iris with Diamante. So they have done random collaborations like that, but they don't really put out random songs on their own. So I do think that this is a pretty clear sign that they are recording and working on a new album. They've also kind of been tongue in cheek during interviews in the past when asked about a new album. So I do think everything is starting to point in the right direction. And I wouldn't be surprised if they start to talk a little bit more openly about it moving forward. And again, guys, you're not gonna wanna miss any of the content. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for any Breaking Benjamin news, keep you guys updated because I know so many of you have been waiting for a new album just like me. This is one of the coolest bands ever and I am so ecstatic just to find out that they are working on new music. We've all been wondering for so long, and at the very least, they're working on something, but I do believe that it is an album, and it's entirely possible that it might come towards the end of this year. Uh, time will tell. Hopefully, we don't have to wait until next year. That would be kind of a bummer, but you know, I'll take what I can get at this point because Ember was so long ago, and I really, really need some new songs. Huge shout out to Tony Bivens for uh, helping with the intel on this video. He's the one who kind of led me in the direction of this Instagram post and without that intel You wouldn't be watching this video right now. Huge shout out to him. He does really cool drum covers uh, As well, he's a drummer. I will link his channel in the pinned comment of this video if you want to check it out Huge shout out to Tony. Thank you so much for the information. It's kind of weird Sometimes the thought of getting new Breaking Benjamin music doesn't seem real in a way like it seems like some kind of fantastical concept like I can't even imagine what a brand new Breaking Benjamin song would sound like and then I remember some of my experiences with the first singles off of albums like Failure with Dark Before Dawn 
it being so beautiful and uplifting and kind of different for Breaking Benjamin in terms of tone because it was so positive sounding and so like inspirational. Uh, and that was such a cool experience, especially having after suffering the weight between Dear Agony, which is my favorite album of all time, and Dark Before Dawn. That weight was brutal. It was even worse than the weight that we're experiencing right now because at that time, we didn't even know if Breaking Benjamin was going to continue because there were lawsuits and really, really gnarly things that were going on and obviously Ben Burnley's uh, health and, and different things. But with this, it's just the waiting game. Uh, they're obviously still touring. We know they're a band. <laughs> so this wait hasn't been as bad as that. But experiencing failure for the first time after that long wait was like absolutely unreal and they put out those teasers before the single dropped if you remember which ended up being like the intro and outro to dark before dawn what a cool experience and then hearing red cold river for the first time wow what a different shift again they went from like this kind of positive uplifting sound to this more metal tinged dark angsty uh sound that i think is really cool i think ember is like one of their heavier projects and, and they did a lot of interesting experimentation on ember compared to dark before dawn which felt a little bit more like their previous two albums uh with some differences as well but ember felt a little bit more experimental like they were trying new things and it was really interesting and i just remember red cold river like the first time i heard it, i was like this is such a weird song but it's so cool so i can't wait to have a new experience with whatever the first single is going to be that they put out I'm just excited to see what they do next and no matter what it is i think i'm on board with it because usually when they're working on a new album they always they always hit uh i have yet to not enjoy a breaking benjamin album so i cannot wait for this and again guys just make sure you're subscribed to the channel give this video a like maybe share it with some other breaking benjamin fans so we can all stay in tune with the news together because there's going to be a lot more news coming out and I'm going to be covering all of it. I'm going to be having another Breaking Benjamin video drop within the next week. You're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a really exciting video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Breaking Benjamin is recording the guitar work for hopefully a new album. Really exciting stuff. I can't wait to talk all about Breaking Benjamin moving forward. So make sure you give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, notifications bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on!